Hi doctors, I've suffered for over 20 years with chronic dry eyes. They burn and they're really affecting my life. I've tried everything to get some relief. I'm an artificial tear junkie. I've got them stashed everywhere, in my purse, my car, and all over the house. I put some drops in, about 30 minutes later my eyes are dry again. I've even had procedures to plug and cauterize my tear ducts and nothing seems to work. Is there anything else I can try to get rid of my dry eyes? I'm ready to ditch those drops once and for all. Thanks, doctors. Well, Dr. Orton happens to be back in our procedure room with Angela and her ophthalmologist, Dr. John Hovenesian. So what's going on back there? Well, all you dry eye su sufferers, and there's a lot of them out there, listen up because this is some pretty great information. We have Angela, longtime sufferer from dry eye, correct? Yes, I've tried everything. Tried everything. Well, she's trying something different today. So first, Dr. H., Tell us what, what causes dry eye syndrome. Well, Angela has an incredibly common and really frustrating condition. It's called evaporative dry eye. And it's not just a deficiency of the water in her tears. It's the all-important layer of oil that rests on top. Angela has a problem where the oils that are on her eyelids are not producing a thin enough type of oil. And I'll show you a, a picture of what that looks like. Mm -hmm. uh, the eyelid has in it a number of oil glands, and when they're secreting oils, the, the water stays in our tears, but it evaporates away and causes a very dry eye when those oils are deficient. And there's friction between the eyelid and the eyeball that causes pain and redness. And it's because these glands, these oil glands that are in the eyelid themselves, uh, are not producing oil. It comes out, instead of like a vegetable oil material, it comes out like sludge, like butter, or like toothpaste, and it really hurts. So in, in Angela's case, how do you make the diagnosis that, in fact, her, her glands aren't functioning the way that they're supposed to? Yeah, so in the office, we did an exam of Angela, and we took a look at her eyelids and took a look at her eyes, and we could see that uh, the, the eyelids themselves were deficient of oils because uh, what was coming out was, was this thick material. And I'll show you a picture of what normal looks like. In the lower eyelid here, you see these tiny pores. And you'll see many of these are secreting this very thin, looks like water, but it's, it's a vegetable oil consistency that flows right over the eye and protects evaporation from happening. It keeps our tears smooth and our eyes comfortable. And so what happens when this is abnormal and these glands don't show, uh, produce the right type of stuff, this is the upper eyelid, we'll see this toothpaste-like thick stuff coming out. And you can imagine the stringy stuff that's coming out on the eye is not comfortable at all and it, it just causes distortion in vision and a lot of pain. Yeah. Okay, and in Angela's case, you're fixing it right now. We're Tell us treat, about we're gonna, that. We're gonna start treating it right now. I'm starting a machine that is called LipaFlow, and this is a treatment that is the first treatment that is now FDA approved that goes to the root cause of this problem. Now, Angela has these activators in her eye, and I'll show you a close-up of what that does in a minute. Uh, but Angela, what you're gonna feel here is gentle warmth. So the, the maximum temperature we get to and that you'll feel is, is a warm 108 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's about 10 degrees warmer than normal body temperature, right? And what you'll find is that you'll feel also a gentle pulsing. Are you comfortable? Are you feeling okay? Yeah. No pain at all? No. Great. And so what's happening is that this device that's resting on our eye, that's controlled by the LipaFlow machine, is gently heating and gently putting pressure on the eyelids. And I'll show you a picture of what that looks like as well. Essentially, the machine is on the inside, here's the eyeball, and here's the eyelid. And there's two parts. The back part here is putting heat against the inside of the eyelid, right exactly where those glands are, causing them to melt those thickened oils and mm -hmm. drain. And on the outside of the eyelid, there's an air pocket, like a pillow that is gently inflating and deflating that is putting down a pressure. And you can actually hear that in the machine here as it's generally. Sort of a glandular massage. It's like a massaging action. The total treatment is about 12 minutes to treat both eyes. And, uh, Usually and so just one treatment? One treatment is enough, and that benefit goes on for anywhere from 9 to 15 months. So wow. you don't need to repeat this. In many cases, we think even longer if we do the right things, uh, both nutritionally well, and otherwise. Is, this is a big innovation for so, all those dry eye sufferers. 